Hello, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I do apologize. I think it's a little grainy right now, but um, that's because I'm in a different place. But God bless you. I pray that you are excited about what God is getting ready to do in your life. I heard the Lord says, prepare, prepare. Get closer to your God. I'm talking about the true living God. The God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. The God of Jacob. Hallelujah. God say that this is going to be the new world one religion. Muslim. Islam. So that's why they're pushing it into the United States. They're pushing it in every country, every city, every state. Do you understand what I just said? So God said, get prepared, Christians. Oh, come on, somebody. He said, get prepared to understand that now you are going to be tested because you say you love your God. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. They're trying to get Jesus Christ out of everything. They're trying to let it be a world domination to where Jesus Christ, God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit no longer exist, but co -exist. Exists. And God said that he's raising up a people, a remnant that will no, have no such thing. He said that he's God and he's God all alone by himself. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So this is the time. This is the day. This is the hour. We're going to have to stand in power. We're going to have to stand up for our God and say, no, there's only one God, one faith, and one Lord. He's the King of kings. He's the Lord of lords. And his name is Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. God said, you better to get ready because you talk the good game you say I'm a Christian I love the Lord well now you're going to be tested saints the persecution is closer than you know God says this is not a game this is not a facade oh come on somebody hallelujah and it's not a fear tactic God said get closer to him start spending time with him you, you're still running after money you're still running after the things of this world do you understand that time is, is ticking come on somebody hallelujah these things are going to be passing oh come on somebody he said my words will not pass oh come on say he said but heaven and earth shall pass and people don't want to hear it you don't want to hear it so you rather just keep on your facade going to work trying to go after that dollar and you know let me tell you something when I flip through Facebook and believe it or not, I'm not on there that much. I like to post, do what I say, and get off. But when I flip through it, let me tell you what I see all the time. Christians, oh, I'm going to make that dollar. Oh, come on, somebody. It's about them coins. Oh, it's about this. It's about that. You so wrapped around money that you can't see that the world is getting ready to be turned upside down and you or do not have a solid foundation in God. Oh, come on, somebody. Just because you go to church don't make you a Christian. Oh, hallelujah. I said it. Just because you have a position in the church don't make you a Christian. Oh, come on, somebody. Just because your daddy, daddy, daddy is ahead of the church don't make you a Christian. Hallelujah. Just because your mother, mother, mother is the mother of the church don't make you a Christian. Oh, come on, somebody. Just Cause go to church every Sunday, every Saturday, every Wednesday. It don't make you a Christian. It's a relationship thing. God said. It's an obedience thing. How much do you obey God? Come on, somebody. Or do you do what you want to do when you want to do it? How you want to do it? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah to His name. The time is coming. Persecution is coming. God say He's told you. He's prepared you. And one thing about God, He'll even speak it to your own spirit. All of you know something that's not right. And I keep telling y'all, that fake wannabe election candidates, Hillary and the dump, let me tell you something, that's not going to happen. And I keep telling you, I'm going to keep telling you. And the sad part, when you figure it out, the same people like myself, we won't be around. So you're going to have to remember everything that was said. Now you keep playing. The time is coming. Why are you playing? And, and, and they doing it so well. Oh, come on, somebody. They're all actors. They're all performers. Come on, somebody. Oh, hallelujah. But God said you better prepare. This is not a game. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I love you. God bless you. Get close to your God. Stop playing. Repent. And that's another thing God said. And I'm telling you, I didn't think I was going to be able to release this. God said he's not playing with leaders. I'm so sad that y'all gonna stop dropping. Y'all gonna start dropping like flies. I'm not kidding. He said that y'all been playing with him just too long. And people, it's another thing too. You talk about leaders and you say all kind of stuff. Let me tell you the difference. If it's a thus said the Lord, then you have permission. But if it's just being ugly and you want to talk to somebody and dishonor them, don't you understand the Bible says, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. You better read that Bible because everybody that touched this anointing and did his prophets harm, hallelujah, I think you know what happened and if you don't know you need to read the book oh come on somebody hallelujah to his name
So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Get close to your God. This is not a game. God bless.